might want to perfect the laws you got already. A Florida group called Brothers of the Same Mind heard about a scheduled police road checkpoint in Miami. It heard about it because the city held a news conference and sent out press releases. Its members, including Brian Dennis, went near the scene to warn motorists about the checkpoint. They were a little surprised to see that the police themselves had posted a sign about the checkpoint, about a block away from it. Mr. Dennis was more surprised still when after he held up his own sign warning of the checkpoint, police arrested him. We're joined now by Brian Dennis and his attorney, John DeLeon, who is the vice president of the Miami chapter of the ACLU. And uh, gentlemen, good evening. Mr. Dennis, let me start with you. If the police had a news conference and they, and they had a sign, and all you had was a sign and you didn't have a news conference, what did you get arrested for? I guess basically exercising my First Amendment right. Wow. Mr. DeLeon, there, there's, a, there's a city of Miami police checkpoint in the same area where the other uh, police force in the area, the Miami-Dade police force, is running a narcotics investigation, as I understand the timing of this whole thing. And the, Mi the Miami-Dade officers decided that Mr. Dennis had blown their cover somehow. I mean, didn't the two police departments combine to blow Miami-Dade's cover by not coordinating which one of them was going to hold a news conference that Keith, day? Keith, a absolutely. This is almost like a case of the uh, Keystone cops, but with real consequences that uh, Brian ended up getting arrested for doing what precisely he just talked about, which was exercising his First Amendment right of letting people in the community know that there was a check checkpoint uh, ahead. I mean, the problem should not have been with, with Brian. It should have been with uh, the uh, City of Miami Police Department, if in fact they did have a problem. The reality is in every community, every night, there are undercover operations. Uh, we all know that in every major metropolitan area. And simply by putting up a sign and indicating that the police are in the area would subject every, anybody to arbitrary arrest. And that's what happened here with, uh, with Brian Dennis, who is the president of one of the great activist groups here in Miami, Brothers of the Same Mind. Mr. Dennis, so we are clear uh, that organization's members, your members are for the most part uh, ex-convicts, and your goal is to help other ex-convicts. Uh, ex uh, do, do you think that you might have been targeted because of, of, uh, of your past? Well, maybe so, but our, our mission is to stop the revolving door of criminals from coming in and out um, to prevent young brothers and sisters, uh, regardless of what their race is, from going into jail. Um, We're the, we the first group in the state of Florida that has a $100,000 loan program for convicted ex felons that will be coming out of jail or out on the street, in, 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 not incarcerated, to start their own business, and they can be able to get licensed with it. So we're, we're, we're for the measure of prevention, and we're also uh, um, basically trying to stop the revolving door. So that's our, our goal. Our goal is not to be able to stop the police uh, from doing their job, and we weren't out there warning anybody. We just did what the media couldn't do for the police, and that was get them the coverage and get it out in the community as the press release stated to let everyone know that they was going to have a checkpoint and that to come out and support their efforts. Yeah, Mr. DeLeon, what, what is, how is this going to resolve itself? What is, what is the next step here? Listen, he, the state attorney's office should immediately drop the charges. I mean, the law in Florida is very clear. Uh, citizens out there who warn individuals that there are police officers in the area can't be uh, convicted or should not even be charged with this sort of crime. What we had here was an overzealous Miami-Dade County Police Department uh, targeting Brian Dennis because he was out there with a group of people, but he was away from his group, at holding up a sign saying that there was a police checkpoint of another operation uh, involving the Miami Police Department. Mm -hmm. He did nothing wrong. He, all he did was letting the people in his community know, you know, there's a checkpoint out there. The police want, want to uh, let the people know that there's a checkpoint out there by calling the media, you know what, I'm a citizen and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to let people know, along with the other members of my group, brothers of the same mind. And we're not going to do it uh, exactly like the police want us to do it, or like the way they want the police, or rather the media to do it, you know, with the embedded media that we have nowadays. They said, we're going to do it the way we think it should be done. They went ahead and did it, and they paid, uh, you know, unfortunately, Brian paid a heavy price for it, which was losing his liberty. Uh, and that's exactly what we're talking about. John so DeLeon, forgive me, we have to, we're out of time. Uh, John DeLeon is the vice president of the Miami chapter of the ACLU. Brian Dennis, who is in this situation, we thank you both for your time. Good night. Thank Let's recap the five countdown stories, the ones we think you're talking about tomorrow. Number 